How's it going everybody? Welcome to the channel. This is Big Daddy Dave and this is a map tour for Farm Simulator 22 on the mod map Boucherin. We're going to start with the description from the mod hub and it reads, Hi, fish rolls, tea, and a green dyke. Welcome to Boucherin at the North Sea. Main farm, farmhouse with barn, cow barn, 120 cows, and straw bale trigger, chicken coop, slurry store, dung heap, machine hall, bulk goods hall, shelter, shed, storage silo, also for grass, hay, straw, silage, forage, silo mineral fertilizer, silo mineral feed, silo seed, two silage silos, diesel tank. Build possibilities for farm expansions, pig farm with silo for pig feed, dike sheep, horse paddock, greenhouses, silage silos at BGA, field barn, windmill, building place, built sales and production points, windmill, grain mill, dairy, wholesale, shopping street, BGA, biomass co cogeneration plant, aha, uh, spinning, rock crusher, cattle dealer and barn, Machine dealer, lime seeds, mineral fertilizers, water point. There has been a change made to this map, and it is changelog version 2.0.0.0, and it is new save game required. Completed bale trigger at the wholesaler, added stones to fields, added two additional fields, added one large cow pasture for 120 animals, one arched hall at the farm, added one small cow shed ideal for rearing, added cobblestone in build menu as paintable ground textures, and now I wish you a lot of fun in Bashern. There are required mods for this map, and they are the Old Farm Package by DMI20MM Normandy, the EU Factories also by DMI20MM Normandy, Arch Building Pack by Mikhail LS, and Windmill by The Lord. Now, we do start here at the starting farm. If we take a look, this is what the map looks like. And you start all the way up here in the northern portion of the map. We own farmlands number 1, 2, 10, 12, 16, and 29. You cannot purchase all areas of the map. You see down here in the bottom left hand corner there's an area that cannot be purchased. There's also this kind of area just beside and in between one and uh, farmlands one and four. You do start with animal pens. You start with the arched cow barn, the chicken coop, and the cow shed, or the cow barn large. There are contracts available. There are no productions available at the start, and there are no collectibles on this map. There are mods made specifically for this map. Nothing under the buy menu, but under the build mode, if you go, you can take a look. You will see several ones that are the required mods, but in here are the actual ones for Bashern. Let's see if we can find them, because I do not remember which ones. So nothing under buildings. Aha, here we go. The factories, that's what I remember seeing. So we had the biogas plant, 99 kilowatt. Let's see, we also have nothing under oops, selling points, nothing under greenhouses, orchards, or generators, uh, nothing under cows, horses, pigs, sheep, chickens, bees, or others. There was nothing under the decorations. And then there were a couple of additional painting swatches, including that cobblestone, like they said. And then nothing under trees or plants. So because we start at the starting farm, let's take a look at our starting equipment. If we go under the shop menu, under owned items, we actually get quite a bit on this, uh, this map. So under medium tractors, we have a Massey Ferguson 6716S, as well as the Veltra Velmet 8750. Under Harvesters, we have a John Deere T560. Under Trailers, we have two Rudolph DK280RLs and a Welger DK115. The header for the John Deere, 
He has the Agromaz POV 5XL Plow. Under Disc Heroes, the Agromaz BTC50H. Under Power Heroes, you have the Amazon KG 3001 Super. Under Cedars, the Catania 3000 Super. Under Fertilizer Spreaders, the Amazon ZATS 3200. Manure Spreaders, the Branther TA12050 Power Spread Plus. Under Slurry Tanks, you have the Sluchin VT130, as well as the Sluchin Spider SP6834. Under Grassland Cares, you have the Dalbo Maxi Roll 60, uh, 630 Green Line. Under Mowers, you have the K-Brand GMD 8730FF, that is the rear deck mower. And then the K-Brand GMD 3123F front mower. Under Tedders, you have the K-Brand GF8712. Windrowers, the Smaz Z2840H. Under Forage Wagons, the Schutzmaker Rapide 580V. Under Balers, the K-Brand VB3190. Under Animals, you have the Farzen PF2.24 Plus. That's the Animal Forage Mixer. Or Animal, yeah, Forage Mixer. You have the Lizard MKS8. Under front loaders, the Quickie Q6M. Under front loader tools, the Albert Pella Fork and the Manure Fork. You have a Nardi Header Trailer. And under weights, you have the Ten Winkle Pack 750. So, whew, a lot of stuff there. Starting here at the farm, let me just scroll up on my notes. We have our sleep trigger right there. Over here is our cow barn where we can have up to 120 cows. We start out with 10. You have your milk point right here. You have your straw point right there. Your feed can go in there. Right here we do have a fuel tank. Around the back side we have our uh, manure heap as well as our slurry point right here. If we come around here we follow this out just back here in this trail. Uh, we see a little clearing right here, and this is our water point right here. Heading back to the farm. Right here, we have our fertilizer tank.
Okay, and after the fertilizer silo, we have a couple of bunker silos right here. A bunch of our starting equipment is right here. And we have a couple of starting bales out right here as well, which is really nice. Got a couple of hay and a couple of uh, straw bales right there. Got a farm of 500 silos, 500,000 liters. You have a couple of Karma 16 silos here, which one of them's hold mineral feed and the other is holding seeds. So you got some good starting uh, volumes there. A bunch of your starting equipment also in here. Repair trigger around the corner. And that's pretty much it for the farm right here. So we're going to go ahead and pick up a tractor. And what we're going to do is going to go into the start menu and we're going to borrow a bunch of money because there's several points of interest we're going to have to purchase. And we're going to need the money to be able to do it. There we go. Should be plenty of money. So we'll go ahead and grab the Valtra and head on out of the farm. Pull out. Make a left, followed by an immediate right. We're going to follow this around. and make a left and now we're going to bring up the map because we have to buy some land so if we go here we were here at the farm went all the way around here came out this kind of drive here over here down to here and to this area here if we purchase farmland number three for two hundred twenty three thousand six hundred eighty dollars you can see a bunch of new triggers pop up so starting right here, we have our pig barn, where you can have up to 270 pigs. You have your feed point here, and you have do, 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 over here a manure heap, as well as your slurry point right here. And here, we'll hop back in the tractor and make our way around. Essentially, just does a little loop right here at this farm. Couple of storage. Whoa, whoa, no, 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 no! Don't do that. Ooh, okay. Whew. Couple of uh, storage garages here. So you got a little bit of storage. You got a silo right there. And that's pretty much it for this location. Not too terribly busy here, but. Cool little area to kind of expand your farm. Now we're going to head out the way we came, making a right and backtracking ever so slightly. Right up until we get out to this main road and then we're going to continue going towards the east. Now to my right are two purchasable plots of land right here. One of them is for this kind of garage area which you cannot access unless you purchase it. You see how no triggers come up? If I were to purchase the land that this sits on then I can access it. But then right here is a cow pasture. We're going to pull the tractor up just a little ways to about right here. Now if we look at the map, we're here at the pig farm. Pig extension is essentially just an extension of this farm. Come up and around here, come down here. Now if we purchase farmland number 26 for $53,200, you can see now, again, more triggers pop up. You have 10 cows here, and you can have up to 120. You have your feed goes there, your water goes there. And then your milk, where is your milk trigger? It says it produces milk, but I don't see where the trigger's at. Hmm. Wonder if maybe you have to install uh, 
milk extension or something along those lines to be able to extract it. Not 100% certain about that. Now, continuing down to the south. have a couple of production points coming up as you can see directly in front of us and make a right here and this is the dairy you can purchase that for seventy thousand dollars inputs here outputs there going around the corner right here is the grain mill $96,000 you can purchase this you have your inputs right here and your outputs right there and then heading down just a little bit further you have your wholesale sell point which is right here now we're just gonna head out and now head along to the west And as you can see in the distance, those are our next points of interest. You can see the biogas coming into view. Here we go. So over here you have a couple bunker silos, but to actually be able to use them, you, you do see that you have the compacting levels and fill levels and all that. But you don't own the land that's on here. You have to purchase the land separately. So if we come from the cow barn all the way down here, we did a circle around these productions, the dairy, the grain mill, as well as the wholesale sell point. Came back around and now we are here. Now you can see if you purchase farmland number four for $32,400, then you can actually dump into these. Before that you won't be able to. Over here you have a biomass heating plant with the wood cell trigger right there. And over here is the biogas plant. Purchase this for $435,000. Solid inputs there. Liquid inputs are actually up here. And your liquid outputs, aka your digestate, is right there. <clears throat> now I'm going to turn around and head out this direction. We're just going to follow this two track around until it takes us to our next point of interest. Okay, this is another cow barn that you own. And here you can store up to 40 cows. You do have three to start out with. You have your dairy point right there, your milk point, I should say. You open the gate. Over here you have your slurry extraction right here, your slurry output, your feed input, and your straw input over here. Now you can open those little barns as well, the little barn doors. There we go. There we go. And that's how you can get to your straw trigger right down there. And over here, wait a minute. Is this another slurry point? Now I'm confused. I just realized that there's two extraction points. One right here, which would make sense. Or maybe this is... Uh, Maybe this is a slurry point and maybe this is a manure point. Okay, that would make some sense. Yeah, that would make sense. Okay. Now heading down to the right, you have the animal dealer right here. You can purchase animals directly from here and load them into your pastures or pens 
uh, from this location or you can go directly from those locations the pens and pastures and load in directly from there now the problem is is that both of those methods are going to incur you a delivery fee so it's extra money that you're gonna have to spend for the game to deliver the animals for you but if you buy an animal trailer bring it to this location and then load into it and deliver the animals yourself you save yourself that fee and depending on what kind of animals you have if you've got cows especially if you're trying to buy older cows it gets pretty expensive pretty quick over here is the barn sale point right back here we're going to continue to follow this around to our next point of interest Okay, right over here to my right, this is the windmill sell point. I'm sorry, uh, production point. You can purchase this for $50,000. You have your inputs over there and your outputs right here. make a left to my right is the lime buying station actually no I'm sorry the lime seed and fertilizer buying station over here is our repair trigger in front of me is the debris crusher and now to my left over here is the shop trigger Now we're going to have to kind of double back ever so slightly. Now technically that's the wrong way, so I'm not going to go in that way. I'm going to go in the proper way over here. Now if I come in through here... Make a right. All right. So over here in this direction, whoa, is the spinnery. You can purchase this for sixty thousand dollars, and you have your inputs over here and your outputs right there. And then. We head down in this direction. Right here, this is the, oh, I didn't, oh, Shopping Street sell point. Must have scrolled up on my notes and didn't realize it. And now we've got a couple more areas we need to purchase. So as we make our way up there, okay, off to my left are a couple of sheep pastures as you can see. Now if we take a look where we've been. We were down here, we took in the biomass heating plant, plant as well as the bio, uh, biomass heating plant as well as the biogas. We came out all the way up and around. We saw the arch cow shed, the animal dealer as well as the barn cell point. Came over here to the windmill, came up, up to the shop and we saw the uh, buying stations for the lime seeds and fertilizer. We then came up to the repair trigger over here to debris crusher and then into the corner was the shop trigger came back around up to here and we took in the spinnery back around out to the shopping street then we came all the way up to here and this is where we're at at the moment now if we go to our buying menu if we purchase farmland number 20 for thirty six thousand nine hundred and sixty dollars and 21 for forty two thousand eight hundred and ninety nine dollars see now we have two available pastures 
feed goes here, water goes here, and you can have up to 100 sheep. You start out with 10 in this pasture. Heading over to this one. Again, feed, water, start with 10, have another 100. And your spawn point for your wool is right there, same place as the other one. We've got one more area to purchase, and then we are done. And now that I've caused a pretty decent line, let's get going and get out of their way. You know, I wouldn't be driving in a tractor if I didn't have a massive line of cars behind me. Alright, now over to my right is the last area, last point of interest. So we were up here at the sheep, came up and around the corner. Now if we purchase farmland number 19 for 33,840, we now have greenhouses. As you can see, here they are. So perfect, that is the map, that is Boucherne. Now we're on to the point of where I render my opinion. What do I think? And scale the 0 to 5. I rather like this map. It's got some decent uh, hills that kind of break the sight line. There's some interesting kind of designs and areas to this map. Um, yeah, I really like it. It's just one of those that, for a small map, it's put together very well and you have the ability to really kind of just build and grow as you need to. I mean, we take a look, I mean, you got some decent sized fields and you start out with several fields. You know, you have your grass field here, you have uh, field 10 as well as 6 and 1. So, I mean, you start out with quite a bit of stuff and you have several animals that you can start out with with the animals themselves. You also have this grass field off to the side here with all your uh, buy all your cows and all that so it's you got a lot of stuff that you can start out with and you got some good starting equipment so you're you're really kind of in a good spot to really kind of break loose and then to buy some of the other pastures and and or I should say fields like they're they're rather expensive you figure I haven't seen one for less than a hundred thousand dollars but because you have so many different areas you're you're gonna be able to build up to it pretty quickly like what did I just see there okay there's one right here it's a grass field but this one is full of trees like in this area here so I don't know this is gonna be more of a forestry area that's uh, gonna need to be cleared out before you can actually do anything with it but uh, yeah on a zero to five scale I'd give this probably a three and a half or a four like it's I'd get it up there you know, it's got a nice little uh, little yard area. It's a little tight in some areas, but good amount of storage, good amount of things that can and can't be done. Um, yeah, it's a nice map. I, I could see uh, playing on it and really enjoying it. But that's the map tour. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please show me by liking, sharing, subscribing, following, commenting, doing all the things the algorithms enjoy you doing that shows you're engaged with this channel and enjoying the content. And that being said, that will be a fantastic day. Take care.